My name is uh, Iwana Fat, and I am an endocrinologist at uh, Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital in Milton. And as an endocrinologist, I see a lot of patients with uh, diabetes. Diabetes is a metabolic disease that allows sugar to accumulate in blood rather than being used um, by the cell in the body. Over 9% of um, United States uh, population has diabetes and around 79 million people in United States have prediabetes. And both diabetes and prediabetes is a condition that can easily uh, go undiagnosed for many years. There are more types of diabetes. The most common type is type 2 diabetes, um, where um, the body uh, is not making enough insulin and or is not using the insulin properly. Uh, one of the most uh, common conditions that uh, don't allow the blood sugar to use, be used properly by the cells is um, uh, fat tissue. Uh, so overweight and obese patients are more likely predisposed to uh, getting uh, diabetes. Symptoms uh, of uh, diabetes uh, and elevated blood sugar uh, occur when the blood sugar is above 200 milligrams per deciliter. So when the blood sugar level gets higher, um, the hyperglycemia and diabetes can go undiagnosed for a long period of time. Um, most common symptoms include frequent um, urination and increased thirst, blurry vision, weakness, fatigue, frequent infections, um, and you know patients should be aware of these symptoms because you know then they should contact their physician as um, definitely they need intervention on controlling the blood sugar. Uh, weight loss is also a common symptom uh, of uh, diabetes uh, when it goes undiagnosed for a while uh, because with the um, a loss of sugar in the urine, you lose calories, and this alone promotes weight loss. Treatment regimens for type 1 diabetes, um, along with diet and exercise and weight loss, um, if it is needed, uh, is insulin. And this is, you know, the pancreatic hormone that we give injectable um, treatment uh, in subcutaneous tissue. Type 2 diabetic patient they all need initially to make changes in their diet and to increase the physical activity in order to lose weight. But most of the times and many times weight loss is not sufficient and then we need to add medications. And medications are oral agents or injectable agents and they all work differently. Some medication increase the insulin output from the pancreas. Other medications help the uh, breakdown of the uh, sugar in the digestive tract or slow the digestions. Other uh, medication help uh, blood sugar to be better metabolized so that is decreased uh, level in the um, bloodstream. Patients oftentimes need to two to three medications for their regimen and whatever works for one patient may not be uh, the case for another patient. So then they have to talk to their provider and decide what's the best treatment plan for them.